So welcome to my video on how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. In this video we're going to solve the top side of the cube and the top layer of the cube. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to pick which color that we want to solve. I'm going to pick white as our color that we're going to solve first. You can pick any color that you want, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to pick white. So since this side of the cube already has one white piece that's on it, I'm going to designate this side of the cube to be the white side of the cube. All right, so let's take a look at this piece right here. Uh, notice how this piece that's already on the white side of the cube has a white and blue color. All right, so that means that this piece that goes right here also has to have a white and blue color. So in order to put it here, we need to place that piece directly below this position first before we, we put it up here. All right, so let's find the other white piece that also has a white and blue color. All right, here it is. We have a white piece that also has a blue side on it as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place that piece directly below the position where it needs to go. All right. So now this white and blue piece is directly below its correct position. Uh, but notice if we rotate this piece into its correct position that we lose the white piece that is already correctly placed on the white side of the cube. So we need to place this piece into its correct position without losing this piece. So in order to do that, I'm going to get this piece out of the way. Since it's on the left side, I'm going to bring it to the right side. Now I can bring this piece down. I can bring my piece back to the left side of the cube, and now these two pieces are connected, and we can bring them both back to the white side of the cube. And now we have correctly placed this piece into its correct position without losing this piece. All right, so now let's look at the piece that needs to go right here. Uh, notice how this white piece has a white and orange color on its sides. So that means that we know that this piece also has to have a white and orange color on its side. So let's look for the white and orange piece. Um, here it is. Um, this piece has a white and orange color. So we know that it needs to go into this position. It's actually already there in its correct position and just not flipped the right way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it so that this white piece is on the bottom layer of the cube. All right, so I'm just going to rotate this so that now the white piece is on the bottom layer of the cube. All right, um, now we can do the same thing as before. We can just rotate this white piece to the white <coughs> side of the cube. But notice when we rotate it into its correct position that we lose this piece over here, which we already correctly placed. All right, so just like before, we're going to first we're going to get this piece out of the way. Since it's on the left side of the cube, we're going to bring it to the right. We're going to bring this piece down. Now we can bring our piece back, and we can bring both of these pieces back to the white side of the cube. Now we have correctly placed this piece on the white side of the cube without losing this piece. And now we have three correctly positioned white pieces on the white side of the cube. All right, so now let's look for our last white piece that needs to go right here. All right, notice how the white is on the bottom side of the cube. If the white side is the top side of the cube, the last piece, the white side is on the bottom side of the cube. So whenever this happens, you need to place the, the piece directly below its position where it needs to go. All right, notice how this white piece is directly below the position where it needs to go. And at this point, the first thing we're going to do is bring this white side of the cube, or white side of this piece, to the bottom layer. So now I'm just going to rotate this piece away from me. All right, so notice how now the, the white side is on the bottom layer. So I rotated it away from me, but notice how I screwed up this piece, which was already correctly positioned. So now I'm just going to rotate this bottom layer. So now this piece is out of the way, and we can rotate this back to its correct position. So now we have correctly put this piece in the bottom layer 
without screwing up any of the white side of the cube. So now we can do the same thing as before. We're going to place our last white piece directly below its position where it needs to go. And we can't just rotate it directly up into its correct position because then we lose this piece right here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is get it out of the way. Since it's on the right side of the cube, I'm going to bring it to the left. I'm going to bring this piece down. Now I can bring the piece back. And now I can rotate, rotate both of these pieces to the right side of the cube. And now we have correctly positioned all four white pieces on the white side of the cube. And notice how not only did we just solve this white side of the cube, we also solved the top layer. Notice how the top layer, all the colors are correctly matching. We have blue and blue, we have orange and orange, we have green and green. If all the top layer is not correctly matching, then you have not solved the white side of the cube the correct way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. In my next video, I will correctly teach you how to solve the other layer of the cube. And until my next video, I will see you later.